Hello everybody and welcome back to Old School RuneScape from scratch. The madman has actually done it and there is 89 runecrafting. Just uh, half a million XP and we will have reached 90 runecrafting. Totally insane. Uh, then there will just be one more level standing between us and double nature runecrafting which is pretty exciting. But here it is. I've been grinding this out for a while and there is 90 rune crafting now we can do soul runes uh, but more importantly there's another 90 knocked off of our base 90s goal all that remains is construction and mining and we have half the month left to do it although it'll probably be done in a few days because that's like less than three hours of mining at the gem rocks which is probably the method i will use uh from here on out for mining and then construct <laughs> we don't even need to talk about construction it's just so damn fast so yeah there we go rune crafting is finally done and i think i'm actually going to try a run out at the soul runes and see exactly how much xp it gives because i've heard these things are a good amount better than bloods all right here we are at the soul altar let's see what the xp is like oh 3200 that is significantly better than the bloods uh usually overall at blood runes i would get like just under 5000 xp for a whole trip let's see how much i get at the souls Almost 6,000 XP for a whole trip, yeah, and then I'm really not sure how to get back to the uh, the uh, dense essence in the most efficient amount of time. I guess you just run, but yeah, no, this is not bad at all. Alright, well, I'm finally doing it. Since I've taken the theme of doing uh, a lot of my tasks at bosses, I think it's finally time to give the Dagonoth Kings another shot. Now, mostly in the past I've done these duo with Necro or something like that, but I think I'm going to try soloing these bad boys. I, you know, I've heard that it's it's pretty possible. Uh, I've heard that I will forget my pet rock like I already have. Uh, <laughs> and the drops are obviously good. So, I mean, it's definitely something I'd like to get into. So I don't want to kill 500 of each boss. we got to kill 500 of each of the Dagonoth Kings. And I don't think my kill counts are very high on all of them so it's gonna be good it's gonna be good all the Dagonoth tasks we get which are very frequent you know I'm gonna try to do add Dagonoth Kings which means the kill counts gonna shoot up really quick and hopefully we make quite a bit of money so let's try this out can't promise it's gonna be good but I'm gonna try just kill me just kill me D just Rex just come kill me bruh we're getting circles up in here so I told the stream I was like hey guys we're gonna have to leave because I have low health and no more food and then uh yeah this happened so Oh no guys, uh if I don't get a if I don't get all the rings in a row, I'm going to have to leave the Dagonoth Kings. All right, looks like we're just not getting any of the good rings today. We're just going to keep getting the uh well, this one's not bad. It's just not necessarily good, but there's a series ring. I'm not going to complain when Necro and I used to do of these DKs. We got a ton of rings back in the day, so I mean, yeah, I'm just going to I'm I'm just going to let it slide. Do I even do I even need to say anything? Dagex seriously all right we're finished with the DK's trip I stayed for a few extra kills as you can see by the bones that we have left over but we didn't get anything else let's see what the uh, price check for our trip was keep in mind it took me about two hours to complete hey we made 2.6 mil take out the cost of like supplies and stuff we at least made two mil so I mean yeah a mil an hour for DK's is not bad of course you probably won't get this many rings but then again maybe you would get a ring that's worth something so here we are back at my favorite boss in old school RuneScape. And uh, I think that since, you know, I'm going for 500 kills on everything, obviously Abyssal Sire is not excluded as much as I would love for it to be. Um, I'm going to force myself to get at least 50 kills every time I get an Abyssal Demon task. Uh, I don't want to force myself to do the entire task here or I will seriously want to quit the game. I mean, I don't know what it is about this boss. It just, oh, it just gets me. It grinds my gears. I haven't even died once so far on this task. The task started at 200. We're at 167. So 17 more uh, sires, and then we will be set free temporarily. But, yeah, no, it's actually not going that badly. Uh, and maybe if I get an unsired, then my uh, feelings on this boss might turn around. All right, there we go. There is our 50th kill of the task. You can see the Abbey Demon counter is down to 150. And unfortunately... No unsired, which is the dream, of course. But, you know, you can't expect to win every single one. So I guess I'll just go AFK the rest of this task at Abbey Demons. Why do I have this extended? Now we're on a Cal Fights task, and of course I'm heading back to KQ, my actual favorite boss in the game. And uh, look at that, 209 kill count, just a few kills under the task. And we got another KQ head. <laughs> Good to see that the YouTuber luck is alive and well. Oh damn! Well, I had to tell you out really quick because I had low health, and uh, but there we go. We got our third Dragon Chain buddy at kill count 246. 
Thank you very much, Cal Fight Queen. You are just too damn kind to me. I mean, seriously. Dropping head, dropping chain bodies, dropping two-handers. I mean, all you, all you gotta give me now is the pet. Oh yeah, before anybody says it in the comments, yeah, I don't want the jar. Okay, I, d I don't want the jar. Alright, there it is. There is our 250th Cal Fight Queen kill. And of course, we get the best drop. Thank goodness, Monk fit. Oh, I forgot to pick the shit. Oh well. There's halfway to our bossing goal. And, uh, are you guys enjoying this new bossing content? I mean, is this the stuff you're looking for? Or are there just too many other RS series that just do bossing content? You're, you're already getting sick of it, but, uh, I'd like to hear y'all's opinions in the comments. Or, uh, or you could just click dislike, you know, that always, that always lets me know that you guys are enjoying the videos as well. I was just kidding, by the way, please don't, I have a family. I just wanted to talk about something real quick. Uh, what kind of drops do you guys think a level 85 Slayer... Abyssal Demon boss should drop. You know, it takes a long time to get to 85 Slayer. Uh, and then once you get there, the Abyssal Sire requires all three styles of combat to beat. You know, you need magic to stun him so you can kill the vents. You need to use range on those vents and you melee him for the rest of the kill. So, I mean, it's a very difficult boss. The meta is to go back to your house just to get spec to weaken him because he just has such high defense. So, what do you get when you beat him? Jugs of water. Jugs of water. Let's price check this. 7k. Bank made. What the hell? Well, there we go. We got an Abbey Demon's task, and there is 50 more kills on task for the Abyssal Sire, and, uh, we ain't gotten shit. But I think I'm actually gonna go do, like, two more kills, because we still got supplies for, like, two more kills. You know, two stamina doses, I just super combat, and, and ranging pot, so, uh, two more chances to give me an unsired, please, baby. Two more kills, and we get, a uh, coal and chili potatoes hmm and y'all ask me why I don't like this boss alright we're back with another collection of clues I know no master so this isn't a true clue collection but you just shut up dude alright so let's start with the easy which is usually worth the most uh... okay not this time oh god I hope that's not the worth the <laughs> most medium clue ooh baby four thousand five thousand can we get a hard clue worth six thousand okay seventy three thousand as uh, you know I'll be okay with that and the elite hundred seventeen k this is quite something, man. I mean, Are you serious? if you, yeah, I am actually dead serious. Did you get it? No, it didn't. All right, this grind is going to, well, at least temporarily come to an end. Finally, after so much time, we have hit 90 mining. So there's just one skill left for base 90s, and that is construction. So the uh, plan I had with 90 mining was actually to get to 90 rune crafting first, because you get mining XP from doing the uh, blood essence or soul essence or whatever so if I do decide to go uh, all the way to 99 rune crafting with souls instead of doing a lot of double nature runes like I originally said I might then I'll probably just knock that out before mining so here is the gem loot that we have gotten from 99 now do note I think some of the bosses I've been killing do drop uh, rubies noted and possibly one of the other four uh, main gems noted I'm not 100% sure so this might be skewed a little bit and I did a little bit of mud load mine so that's where these ores are from. But I'm going to go sell all this loot and see how much money we made from all that mining. Alright, so almost all of them are sold. Just some opals left over. But yeah, 8.6 mil. Uh, I didn't realize I'd spent that much time mining. You know, sometimes it just flies by, especially when you only do a couple hours at a time. So add that to the cash stack and boom, we're at 64 mil right now. That's actually insane. Uh, yeah, I definitely recommend to anybody who has decently high combat stats, you know, across the board and does a lot of Slayer, to start doing some boss Slayer. I mean, doing KQ, uh, mostly KQ, and I would say uh, Dagnoth Kings, has helped boost my bank quite a lot. Like, Abyssal Sire would be boosting my bank a lot if I ever got any unsired drops, but <laughs> KQ actually has some pretty decent money per hour, and so does Dagnoth Kings, so definitely jump on that, man. I know it's not the best XP per hour, but over time, it all adds up together. It's pretty good. I finally caved. It's happened. The cash stack is... De oh my god, no. It's destroyed. It's, it's, I mean, it's still looking pretty good, but it's not looking as good as it was five minutes ago. But It's been over 80 episodes or something like that, and I'm still sporting the old proselyte or barrows or <laughs> dragon plate legs and fighter torso. No, no, no. No more. It's done. We have finally bought Bandos Tacits and Bandos Chestplate which collectively cost me just about 40 mil. So uh, let's check these bad boys out. I mean, come on, let's throw them on. Oh my god. 
<laughs> I actually think they look horrible. Like, that's just my personal opinion. I think the tacits and chest plate look kind of silly. But, I mean, those stats don't lie, baby. Look at that defense. Look at that strength bonus. Let's take this off. 13. That can't just be from those. No way. Okay. Six strength bonus from both those. I didn't know they gave plus three each. I thought they gave plus two. So this is much better than I thought they were, actually. So that is a plus three max hit. Uh, when compared to me using like Barrow's armor for defense, and, and those defense stats are pretty damn good, except the magic that sucks. But that's all melee, melee armor. So, uh, one of our goals was to get three items for our gear checklist, and there is two out of three completed. So, uh, yeah, I think later in this month I might buy another certain item that I won't disclose yet, but it'll be very helpful for a little bit of training I plan on doing. But yeah, there we go, Bandos top and bottom. Look as sexy as hell. Time to get rid of that fucking fighter's torso forever. All right, so this is where I'm gonna end the video off. And uh, you know, actually, with all my like Slayer gear on, the tacits and chest plate actually look pretty cool. I'll admit it, uh, they're growing on me a little bit. And uh, oh my God, these stats, they're just beautiful. But yeah, here are the stats for this episode. We have played 52 hours since the last part and uh, gain just about 3 million XP. You guys can tell these videos take quite a long time to make, so I'm really sorry I can't upload them as consistently as I was just a little bit ago, but I'm trying to put a lot more progress in them. I really want to get stuff done, you know? I want to get levels for all my skills. I want to start doing more bossing. You know, I want more substance to these videos. And God damn it, I want some beastly gear, you know? I want our character to be pimped out. I'm sick of looking at this. Looking at this virgin, I want a Chad character, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, here's the Eye of Newt collection as well. <clears throat> 16.25 million Eyes of Newt. Almost worth 50 mil. It's pretty sick, so thank you guys very much for watching the video. If you don't mind, make sure to gently caress that like button down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future. Both those things help me out so much. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video where we will probably finish out the base 90s and uh, go kill some bosses looking like this. I mean, they better be scared. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.